morning guys welcome back today is day two of level two which is very exciting we can now break our bubbles essentially and socialize with our friends and family uh retail is opening back up cafes are opening back up it's all very exciting so i'm just about to go for a quick walk because Unfortunately, our latest delivery of Nespresso Pods has not been delivered. I think NZ Post is just here struggling a bit with their deliveries. So, I was just going to go walk and get a coffee, but, but figured I should do a substantial walk before getting it. So, I'm going to go do that and I will check in with you guys soon. Hello, so I've just showered and I thought I would show you my non-sweatpant, I'm going outside outfit. Massive oversized shirt super comfy but you still look kind of put together because you're wearing a shirt my jeans that you know i always wear and some zara sandals i'm heading out for a haircut which is bloody exciting i was supposed to get one the day or two before we went into like level four lockdown and then for some reason i thought it would be a great idea to change my appointment so i've been living with very long thick hair and i am so over it I'm pretty sure I'm just going to chop it all off, so very excited. Um, I don't know how it all works with protocols and things with hairdressers now that we're in level 2, but the government said it's fine for you to get a haircut, so I'm going to go get a haircut. It's short. It's so short. I just went for it. She was like, are you sure? And I was like, go shorter. That's how much I wanted to get it off. I'm not loving it like this hey guys new day i um just got up and i had to put my hair up again because i'm just i haven't i don't fully know how to wear it when it's down it kind of just looks like i don't know i don't know how to wear it yet but i do think like the little half up half down thing looks bloody cute and i'll continue to wear it like this um but yeah new day beautiful day I went into stores the other day. It was a real different experience. You had to sign in. Um, we got our temperature taken at one store. Some stores you could just walk straight in. Anyway, I really needed some skincare. I wanted to try The Ordinary. I've heard loads about it. Very controversial. But I think I'm for it. Like, it's simple scientific skincare. I feel as though more often than not, you're buying products, especially skincare, that's really expensive and maybe overpriced for what it is. Of course, they might have products that make your skin instantly feel good, but at the end of the day, you're usually buying it for an antioxidant or an active ingredient that the ordinary products have too, and that's the ingredient long term that's going to help your skin. So, I kind of liked it. I got four products for $60. The glycolic acid 7% toning solution so this is really good if you've got texture on your skin that's great i can use that after a cleanse um, i decided to get two little bottles of stuff so that i can get two benefits from each and just mix them together so the first is the niacinamide 10% zinc 1% so this is really good for i think it actually minimizes your minimizes your pores but it's also great for congestion and uh inflammation in your skin so blemishes acne that kind of thing so i got that one and then i also got hyaluronic acid two percent plus b5 so this is just super hydrating and it also plumps your skin and it's got b5 in it which is really great i believe this one has a b vitamin in it as well i actually think niacinamide is a form of b3 so um yeah that's really good and then my friend convinced me to get this which i am just like scared to use it looks like blood but it's called the aha 30 percent bha 2 percent healing solution so essentially you just put a few drops on your fingers rub it together together and dab it over your face and you leave it on for no more than 10 minutes i think it's reasonably strong and it is just really exfoliating and good for texture again. So that was pretty good. Um, I don't think I can use these two in conjunction. Like I would use this once a week and use this a few times a week and just avoid using this like the day before and after using this. And yeah, I will check back in and let you guys know if it works. Hi guys, car vlog. Haven't done this before. But it's fun. I think I've got a reasonably good setup. I hope the camera doesn't fall off. I need to go get coffee and I'm driving. That's so lazy. But 
I'm going on a walk later today, so I figured it would be fine. But yes, driving to get coffee because necessary. Um, I really hope that my favorite daily bread is open in Newmarket. Otherwise, we may be driving to Ponsonby. But yeah, I could do with an oat milk flat white and you know, a, a chocolate hazelnut croissant would work quite nicely as well if they've got that. So we'll see. We secured the coffee and the croissant actually. Amazing. They didn't have the chocolate hazelnut croissant, but they had the hazelnut croissant. Oh my God, why is my garage door not opening? Open. They had hazelnut croissants, just as amazing. So I'm very excited to eat that. Very excited. Got slightly squished on the way home, but I will show you nonetheless. Um, it just, it's just great waking up in the morning to a coffee and a croissant. If I could do that every day, I would be so happy. But that's very bad for me eating a croissant every day. So every other day. Oh. It's that good. It's a little squish, but it's that good. It's amazing. I'm attractive when I eat croissants. One of my top foods actually, I'd probably say chocolate hazelnut croissant, hazelnut croissant, either or, and a lox bagel, top foods. Hello, it's a few hours later. I am just getting ready because I'm going out to have drinks with my friends. How exciting. Haven't done it in two months. And I'm bloody excited. Um, we're not allowed to socialise with any more than 10 people. So that'll be interesting. And I'm just going to a friend's flat. So, I mean, I'm not getting ready, am I? It's not like I'm going up to town. So, there's only so much ready I can get. But we have a minor issue because I don't have a straightener. I don't have a straightener and I don't know what to do with my hair so I might because I, I just it, I'm getting mum vibes at the moment like kind of cute but it's just I think it's a bit flicky yeah it'll be nice to just socialize and have a wine with friends really really weird for me but I actually didn't should I do my makeup and talk because otherwise I'm just feeling my hair and talking to you Cheers. I haven't, really weird, I didn't actually drink for the whole two months of lockdown, seven weeks, but I don't think I drank the week before that either, which I find really strange, like I'm happy to not drink, but I definitely do it at least once or twice a week, and I just didn't drink for two months, don't feel any different, so there's that, um, if you're thinking about not drinking for a month, like dry July or something, don't bother, because I feel no different, but I mean, good stint from me, but yes, very happy to be having some wine with girls. Oh, this is my, pr see, I'm not focusing. I'm not focusing. See, there's only bars and restaurants, oh, restaurants are open, but bars aren't open yet, and bigger venues. I, don't, I think bars might be open next week, um, but cafes and retail are opening now. But yeah, bars aren't opening till next week i believe they're just giving it another week just to figure things out logistics wise so we can't actually go out anywhere so i will probably end up wearing this jumper because comfort and it's quite cold now but i'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on bit of primer bit of bronzer just zhuzh myself up a little bit but not too much that it's just unnecessary and why did I put on all makeup to go nowhere. We might go to another friend's flat, like we might flat, go flat to flat, but no actual plans yet. Put some primer on, moisturizer and primer, and then I could probably do lip balm. See me get ready like this, pretty much like this before. 
I don't feel the need to put foundation on. I'm not a massive foundation girl. I wish I had a tinted moisturizer that I used to have the Laura Mercier one and it's amazing, but I feel as though it actually hasn't got that much coverage. I'd like something with a little bit more coverage than that, just so I can wear it out as well. Um, so for the moment, we'll just go with primer and moisturizer. And then maybe, should I do cream bronzer? Stick with the cream bronzer, because, and maybe a bit of concealer. I don't know if it's necessary. But yeah, just same cream bronzer. It's the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. Real Techniques brush. This is synthetic. Really good for creams. Just dab it on. Sorry if the lighting's not amazing. It's quite dark outside now. Not a fan of it being so dark outside now. It's very much winter. Well, it's still autumn. But I'll update you guys on my freelancing. A lot has happened, actually. Um, I've had quite a few busy two weeks. So I kind of want to run down kind of like a morning with you, how I organize, how I figure out how to do stuff. I don't know. I'm still figuring it out myself, but I figured that could be maybe a little bit helpful. So I need to update you guys, and I haven't. Okay, what do we got? I'm getting really sidetracked. Really need a cream blush. Really need a cream blush. Where's my cream highlighter? Here it is. It's fine. I feel as though I should finish this wine by the time I've finished my makeup. I said I would be there in like half an hour and that's not gonna happen. Cream color base by MAC. This is in the color, what is it? Hush. Really like it. Very natural, you just gotta blend it in. Oh, she's got sheer glow. That's quite light. That's quite dark, huh? Maybe I'll use a little bit of this as concealer instead. This could work. We're improvising here, people. I always have to do a little bit of coverage on my nose. Oh, she's a bit yellow. I always, yeah, do a little bit of coverage on my nose because that always seems to be the place that I need it. I was actually kind of holding on hope to go to Europe this summer because uh, initially both my festivals I was going to hospitality on the beach in Croatia, a drum and bass festival on the beach, and also Zaget in Budapest, Budapest. Um, and they were still like, we're gonna, we're gonna see you there unless we're told otherwise. And up until the end of last month, that's, that's what the plan was. And I was kind of holding on hope that I still might have like a late Europe summer, but they've both unfortunately been cancelled is the wrong word. They've been postponed, so you can either get a refund or your ticket is like car like carried through to next year. So, I mean, I guess I'm going to Euro summer next year, but also is that like too far away to plan? Like, what if I can't? find a second oil cleanser. I've got a gel cleanser, but I need to find an oil cleanser. Because I don't know, is it just me? Or has skincare become like the thing everyone talks about from being in lockdown? I feel so much more educated on it. Like I thought I was educated on it, but in terms of like things that you need for your skin and the steps and the methods and the correct way to do things, who knew you couldn't cleanse your face in the shower? But it's bad for you. Do I put mascara on? And bronzer. Just use it as your... Use it as an eyeshadow as well. It really pulls just your whole look together because the colour is used on other areas of your face. Pro tip. I mean, it's not that pro. I think everyone knows that, but... Just reinforcing that. It's also quite a nice natural look. If you want to do something, but you don't want to look too crazy, but you want to put a bit of shadow on, blush. Blush is the way to go. The butter bronzer by Physicians Formula. First of all, it freaking smells like a holiday. Oh, I haven't smelled it in so long, and it's actually really smooth. I like it a lot. God for bronzer, honestly, eh? I would get so pale. 
I need to get, speaking of my ordinary stuff that I got, the, uh, but also this is different, this isn't skincare. Drunk Elephant, the drops that make you tan. You just pump a few little drops into sunscreen or moisturizer and it gives you a tan. I need that for winter, for sure. All right, we'll leave it there, folks. I need to put a lip liner on, but I'll show you that in a sec, because it's in the other room. I haven't finished my wine. It was a big pour, okay? I could finish it on camera. That could be some content. This. That's quite cute. That's quite cute. I could do that. Should I do that? I look like a little ninja person. Okay. Okay, why don't I roll with that? Jumper, because it's cold and it's comfy. But we have a nice, but we have a nice silky slip. So you know, just to zhuzh things up. And then my sandals, which are, they're really cool, but they're really squeaky. <laughs> so that makes them less cool. But I'ma still wear them because I spent $99 on them from Zara. I think I might finish here for tonight. I'm off for drinks with my friends. <laughs>